Hi friends, this is Andy from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to basically rip apart, disassemble the base of the HP 15 BS series of laptops. Now, this also applies to the BR series. Both are one and the same. There's no difference as such. Even if it is an Intel or an AMD based uh, laptop, the entire HP 15 BS and BR series, this process is applied. So if your laptop is something uh, that looks like this on the top, it's got a glossy or a silver finishing. And uh, once you open up, it basically looks like this. It might be a Core i3, Core i5, AMD or a PQC if it looks like this. And once you open the, once you look at the base, if it looks like this, then you can apply this particular procedure. All right, uh, to start things up, well, you need to have a screwdriver set like this. You need to have a triangle prior like this or a prior like this, or even a credit card will work fine and then a partition box uh, to keep the different screws. Now the first thing first, we need to flip the laptop and remove the battery. Very carefully, you need to note uh, how to remove the battery here. There will be a lock sign here, here. Just push to unlock and then push this particular notch over here. The battery will come off like this. It will come off like this. Now we need to basically remove all the screws that are visible at this point of time. Apart from that, there are screws below these four rudders. You need to remove the rudders uh, using a tweezer like this. These ones are thicker in size uh, if you compare the two. So when you're fitting it back, you should be uh, knowing this. If you compare the two, as you can see, the bigger ones are for the upper hinges part and the thinner ones are for this. Now you need to remove all the visible screws over here to get to the base. Let's start with the hinges screw here. Alright, so after you have removed the screws, you need to now pry the base. This entire base will come off. So you need to pry the base here. Just open this up like this. And start prying. need to remove the DVD writer for people who want to just remove the DVD writer and uh, put a caddy uh, you just need to remove this one screw over here and the hard DVD writer will give away it's basically a 9.5 mm uh, uh, DVD writer SATA if you want to take a caddy and replace it or a DVD writer that you want to replace it with all right so you've already pried the entire base very slowly now there will be these uh, notches over here one and two just you need to just will give away like this as you can see the entire motherboard is uh, in front of you this is the processor fan this is the NGFF M.2 slot if you want to have a, a NGFF uh, 
m2 ssd that you want to put here remove the wi-fi chip and you can put it here and uh, you have the ram slot over here there's the hard drive so everything is uh, basically visible once you open the base now let's come to the hard drive first thing first now for removing the hard drive there is this one screw over here that you need to remove and uh, you can just push it out and the hard drive uh, gives away this is basically a 2.5 SAT hard drive so if you want to buy a SSD you can just buy a similar 2.5 SSD and you can install it there are these two screws uh, which you need to open and fit to the new SSD or SDD okay so coming to the RAM here the RAM is basic there are two dim slots in the BS series so you just need to use your two thumb fingers and uh, remove the RAM and uh, RAM is basically a 2400 megahertz DDR4 low voltage memory uh, as you can very well see this is the specification so you can take the similar memory and you can uh, upgrade the RAM you can upgrade this laptop up to 32 GB 16 GB plus 16 GB totally 32 GB is what the overall uh, capacity is for this particular laptop so we will put it back just Take another RAM, just put it like this and just press it and the two notches will take up. Now, this is the CMOS cell, this is a speaker, even this is a speaker over here, 2.0 speakers. And if you want to just remove the fan, you just need to remove this one particular uh, connector and the fan will come off. So if you want to clean it up. There's no removable processor here, so there's no point removing the heatsink. In another video, we'll show you how to basically replace the keyboard and the touchpad. Uh, in this, uh, we will do only this particular part. Basically, you have access to almost everything once you open the base. That's a good thing about this particular laptop. Let us again refit it back. After fitting, uh, there will be these uh, loose ends which you just need to just press all the parts so that the fitting is appropriate. Alright, so this is it friends, uh, we have in this video shown you how to basically uh, upgrade the RAM to up to 16 or 32 GB depending on the availability of the memory. This is a DDR4-2400 MHz RAM that you have to buy and you can also upgrade the laptop uh, to an SSD based hard drive uh, by putting a 2.5 SATA SSD or maybe removing and putting another hard drive if it is a faulty hard drive. Plus, uh, we've also shown you there is the M.2 NGFF slot in this particular laptop. Uh, you can use M.2 uh, SSD and you can put it in this particular laptop also. And uh, the CMOS cell is also shown the speaker. Basically, everything is uh, visible once you open the base. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do some of your suggestions and comments, and do not forget to subscribe to us.